it's snowing, it's cold. Um, you're probably gonna see a lot of me on this walk back to my vehicle after class. It's not very long, it's about, I don't know, two and a half minutes, sometimes three if I'm parked far away. Sometimes five if I'm parked right at the end of the block, but this is the um, college I go to and the high school um, are in the same block. They're actually right next to each other. and. So I see all the high school kids with their friends and I get lonely on this walk. It's always cold and it's windy and gross. But I want to talk to you today. Oh, hang on. Um, person in background, per privacy violations, that's what that is. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you about goals. Because it was just New Year's, it, you know, it's the beginning of the year and everybody usually sets a New Year's resolution. In case you didn't know, my New Year's resolution was to post a video every day for a, for a year, for 365 days. And, you know, I haven't exactly broken that. Okay, that's not true. I have broken that. Because I realized after I started that, I didn't really think it through, but I don't have my own computer. And so that's kind of proven difficult when my sister's computer and our shared computer are both in use. I'm kind of stuck. But, um, I have got enough videos up. They're just not all on the days they're supposed to be. Two were a day late. But you know what? I can still do 365 videos in 365 days. Just not every day, but I'm gonna work out a system. They should be, they're, they're gonna be regular. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna work it out. But you know what? New Year's goals and New Year's resolutions aren't the entire goals you should set. You should always have I've been told for a successful life that you should have short-term, medium-term, and long-term goals. So, on that note, I wanted to videotape my goals. And, you know, at the end of the year, see how far I got with them. And give you guys an idea of what I'm shooting for this year. So first, my short-term goal is, well, A, to get a video to remember to charge my camera and you know film and get a video up every day so that's a short-term goal for every single day and also to make sure that I get my homework and my reading done in a timely manner that I mentioned that on the, on the blog two days ago because I really want to do well in this semester I want to bring my GPA up a little bit I mean, it's not bad it's at like a 71 or a 72 but I want to bring it up to like a 77 so my goal is for, for like medium midterm goals are to um, get 85% in each of my four courses and also I decided, I know I told you guys the other day when I got my passport done that I didn't have any plans for a trip. That's changed now. I am looking into a program called World Endeavors and what they do is they offer internships and um, a various number of fields. I think they have like 25 different fields or something. And you can get internships in those fields in 22 different countries. So I am working towards a two month internship in Chile for journalism. As journalism is my field of choice. And so I am in school right now. I'm doing first two years at college to get the, um, I get confused every time I explain this to anybody. I'm doing the first two years of general studies here and then I'm transferring to our city's university and finishing the last two years. I'm transferring into the third year of the international relations program and um, I'm gonna ma ma going to master in that and minor in Spanish because I have some ex Spanish experience. And I've been to a few Spanish-speaking countries, so that's my best bet for a language, and you have to have a language. But I like Spanish, so that's okay. And then once I'm done that program, and I got my bachelor's degree and whatever, and um, the undergraduate, I don't really understand what all of that means, but when I'm done the program, I will go down to another university in Vancouver and master in the journalism program down there. It's kind, of like, it's kind of my road, the goal, but I don't necessarily like being in a classroom all the time. So I'm going to do it in like two year stints and then take a year off and 
you know, work and stuff so I can keep my bills down too because school's not expensive as many of you know. Or not cheap, sorry. It's very expensive. So I'm taking this next year off and I want to do an internship program because that is another way to further my education but at the same time not, you know, not be in school but not stay stagnant because I still want to learn and I still want to um, improve my, you know, improve, improve what I know, my knowledge on my base, um, skill base and stuff. But that's just a different way to do it. So I'm looking into this program for Chile. I was looking into Spain, but um, I have an issue because if you didn't know, I'm diabetic. And the Spain program, you need to be there a minimum of three months. But I don't know if I can get into insulin. Bit. I recently Whoa. learned that. Hello, radio. Sorry. Um, I don't know if I can get insulin packaged for three months, and I don't know how to get the drugs that I need outside of the medical system here. So that's kind of an issue. But Chile, you can stay for two months, and that's okay. And you still get. See, this is this is what I like about it. And all um, all their programs, they get you like language training and stuff. So in Chile. For five days a week, you go for an hour and a half of language training, and then you go for your day, your internship, wherever that is, and they set that up for you. They set, they set everything up for you. So in Chile, you're responsible for your own meals and your own transportation and, like, personal needs and stuff. Spending money cash um, for, like, excursions and all that, which is pretty normal. So I'm working towards that, and I want to do that January or February of next year, so exactly a year from now. And I need to raise roughly about $10,000 in that year to make sure I have all of my student debt paid off and all the cost for the trip covered and stuff. So that is my long-term goal. And so my midterm goals are to, you know, keep working and set up some fundraisers and stuff. And just, you know, set small goals to get the funding that I need to work towards that larger goal, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. But yeah, so that's where I'm headed this year. I want to do well in school. I want to, you know, I want to, I want to work a lot more, and especially in the summer. And I want to get myself to Chile. It's gonna be good. Try this again. Somebody told me you can't be successful without setting goals in your life, and I totally don't 100% believe that. I know some people, you know, things just happen and they get lucky. But you know, right after there, I got home from class I was reading this article and it was saying how like you know successful people do create habits and set goals and you know perpetuate themselves through life in a manner that creates success you know they have structure and they have ideas of where they want to be and how they're going to get there and even if everything doesn't work out for them right away you know they're always working towards something and so if you don't have a goal like I don't think that's terrible, terrible, but I mean, a goal gives you something to strive towards and to work towards, right? So I think you're more productive. Yeah? yeah? So you were up here to set recording for Titanic, were you? No. Did you start recording Titanic? I don't watch TV. We've, we've talked about this. Um, anyway, I don't think you're terrible if you haven't set a goal, but I think that you're more likely to to. I need to work on my speech. I am terrible. I never realized how much I mumble. Although, even when I'm talking to people, like in just everyday conversations, like my family and stuff, I have to repeat things because I just can't talk. You know, I'm really, that's one of my goals for this year too, is to learn to enunciate my words and move my tongue when I'm speaking so I don't choke on it. It really helps, I think. Anyway. So yeah, I think you're more successful and driven if you have a goal. So I hope that you agree, and if you don't, I hope you're successful anyway. But, I don't know, get back to me in 25 years and we'll see how, how it went for both of us, okay? Deal. Ciao.